Jangan ngasih pok ya You know, just to quickly throw in the start of this, I actually used to think, well, I actually go for this thought where I think Jagex are actually becoming, like, more, what's the word, like, uh, successful with their game, really, and more people actually joining. But if I actually look through the world, there are a lot of people, like a minimum of 800 people in this world. Obviously, that's because it's massive ping and it's an Australian world. But there is no world anymore that says full. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but there's no world that says full anymore. And I kind of find that kind of strange, because I always remember, like, click on no. Whenever I was trading Slayer, is what I'm about to do on this video. I'd always look for the world that was full and had a fairly low ping because obviously when trainer slayer the, the lower the height no the more people the more players in the server the faster um, monsters would like respawn and that's just a, a common fact really about this. But anyways, um, welcome to this video and as you can see by the title, right? I don't know where to start here. First of all, I'm gonna cover this quickly. I'm not training attack yet. I'm not rushing this at all. It'll probably be at least a week before I even go anywhere near thinking about training attack. But as for now, I'm keeping sexy attack. And I'm sure some people are going to be sad to say that. And I'm sure some people are going to be happy. I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why. And I'm going to keep a few to myself, which I'll obviously just talk a bit about. But um, yeah. So I'd like to say to start off this video. So um, first thing I'd like to say is uh, currently... When I'm on the game, Slayer's like my favourite skill. Now, Dungeoneering lags a lot. Dungeoneering would probably what I'd be doing normally, but I can't really commentate Dungeoneering that well. But Slayer is probably one of my favourite skills. I do, I do train Slayer like really quickly, especially for my stats. Well, technically I'm maxed out. It's just the Dragon Skin that holds me back most of the time and that I don't really have a Storm of Armadillo. But as for like Cannon Overloads, Turmoil, all that stuff, like everything's just getting done really. Like if I throw this up there, 146,000 Slayer experience at the moment. So it won't go up that quick. I maybe average 40,000 Slayer experience per hour on this account, which is... Not bad for 60 attack, I'd say, but what I'd like to say is uh, currently I'm slaying a lot, so would anyone like to see some slayer videos of me? Like, if I, um, normally when I get a task, it's about 200 or something. Now, if I did five tasks, calculated XP rates over this five tasks, got an average, and I put them together into a video and uploaded it as, like, um, slayer guy for room pures, maybe, or something like that, and I just tell you how I do my tasks and all that, and then... Any room peels out there that are like looking for potential advice or well anyone could follow it really I don't know but when I slay I do it uh, really fast and some people obviously just don't know how to like they don't know cannon locations on tasks I know from pretty decent cannon locations on tasks and all that which um I've used all the time and it does speed tasks now this task I would normally be doing it faster like if I was really doing this task I probably have that to attack and I'd set it to attack things like that and then I'd normally set it to attack one that I'm not attacking so. Pretty much, I get an extra kill. Like, there you go. There's an extra Hellhound kill right there, which wasn't even done. So then I'd set it to attack another one. Blah, blah, blah. More happens. Stuff gets done quickly. But, yeah, if anyone would like to see that, uh, please leave a comment on that one. And then, then I'll probably do it. I'm not sure if I'll do that, though, because it's not it's not the normal thing I actually upload. But, I don't know. Maybe it's an area I could do. like a, I mean, it wouldn't be like a permanent series. It's like, one obviously, one video per task. But... I don't know if anyone would like to see it, like, uh, I, everyone asks me, like, what, what, how do you do your training skills, and they say upload a video of me training all my skills, I can't bother doing that, I've got partnership now, I don't upload some videos like that, like, if I had to train all my skills, it's just going to be the best, like, that would be Barb Course, that would be Living Rock Caverns, that would be Eddie Plates, that would be, I think I did that with Extreme Magic Potions, so obviously, you've seen it all before, it's simply just common sense, the fastest way I could possibly do it, is normally how it works, so, that would be really cool, but Slayer Tasks, these are entirely different, so if you'd like a video, well, some videos are from me, like where I do some Slayer Tasks, I would just upload a video when I get a Slayer Tasks, I'd probably do loads of tasks, work out charm rates, XP rates, everything I can possibly do to make the video, like, worthwhile watching if you're someone to train Slayer, and then you can, like, get behind the scenes on tasks, really, but some of the, like, dead end stances will be that I power Slayer, I use Turmoil, Overload, Steel Titan, I have 60 attacks, so all that would change all the XP rates around, and all that stuff, so... Uh, that's just something, but yeah, just to answer some quick questions, I don't get bones because I have a bone crusher, it's fairly uh, common sense that, but I just want to quickly save that to save some questions, but yeah, uh, 60 attack, I am keeping it, I'm going to try to keep this video short because I want to render it 720p, and I hate uh, rendering videos that are extremely long in 720 like if I do my set in the bar, there will be, well it's not really set in the bar anymore, it's just me making a long video, if I ever do that, I always render it 480, and then I lose the intro on it, but I need to find a new way to do that because YouTube did an update where the old way I did it, it doesn't work anymore, because that's what, you know when I uploaded that video, and it cut my name off, uh, the day I changed my name back to Almost Famous, everyone was like, what did you change your name to, that's simply because YouTube had an update, I can't put it anymore, so I might have to work out some ways to actually do it easily, but I don't really know how to do it yet, so you may actually be getting my intro on 480p videos, but I'm not sure about that yet, I'll have to research it, but just going back to the attack thing, I've decided I'm not going to train attack any time soon, I do have access to AT attack accounts, but it just isn't the same playing on their accounts, because I don't have the same things I could risk, on here, I can risk imbued rings, tokar cals, 
um, chaotix, all that stuff, because I have pretty much max stats, and because it's my own account, I can do what I want on it without having, like, fear of doing anything else. Now, the account I play on, the owner of the account actually quit, and I've sent him a message on YouTube, he hasn't replied to it yet, asking if I could, like, properly scan. I'm will I'd probably transfer, like, 500 Jamal in the account, I mean, if he's quit, I doubt he's just going to come on and take it or anything. Um, but I've had access to, he hasn't changed his password in, like, a year, really, so I've had, I've had access to his account for quite a while, and I'm sure you all know who he is, it's Sam45, obviously, but... First, I'm going to get some permission from him to do something. But yeah, his account is a 80 2 attack and 45 defense and then pretty damn high total. But he's still, just PKing on the account that's not mine, it doesn't really feel the same as being able to PK on my own account. It is slightly different. And overall, if I did use that account, I could quite easily just AFK this account at the same time and work on my 200 mil mage and rage and all that. Not happening there. But it just, it just does not feel the same. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. So attack is not getting trained anytime soon. Main reason... I'm not training yet, it's because, I believe this is one of my biggest reasons, but I have the amount of subscribers I've got at the moment, and no one's really complaining, I have a fair few comments saying get attack up, but no one really complains that I have attack level I do, and if I change my account stats, that changes my videos quite a lot, and that is a pretty big risk, and it's a risk that I'm not willing to take, now I personally believe that I could make better videos with attack, but plus I could enjoy the game a lot more because I can do so much more different content and all. I can go and solo a couple of QBDs or something with 40 defense, I could do loads of things with um, attack. But people were asking me what attack level I'd get, I was tempted to get 99, I'd love to have like a 24, 25 skill, I'm pretty sure it's 24, skill caper, rune pure, but just thinking about that is... Overall, I think if I got 80, 99 attack, I would be PKing at like 112 combat and I'd be getting murdered with my low defense and it would be a lot harder to PK, which may make my videos even worse because I'd be dying all the time. But if I got 99 attack, I'd also be able to fight high levels, get better loops and obviously hit better and stuff like that. So that's where the 99 attack thing is. But overall, if I did train attack, I think I would train it to 70, probably in defenders, Cyclops to see how many defenders I actually get from that. Then I would PK until 80 and that's when the main problem comes in because I, I would love to whip AGS um, hybrid. Now, I could rape your AGS if I wanted to, because most of the time I use AGS specs would probably be with a staff of light wielded light. Normally, I do it on private servers a lot. The only time I ever PK with an armed of Godsword is on private servers. The way I do it is I do a four way switch and then I drink a potion and go for the armed of Godsword. And because I have a staff of light wielded, my spec bar is always there, which means I can hybrid with a rapier and an AGS. But rapiers, overpowered, nobody likes it, but if I'm risking that much, maybe it's worthwhile finding, I don't know, that's just how it works, but yeah, if I do decide to get attack, I think I would actually stop at 80, but that's the problem, because then eventually my whip content just completely goes, and I don't know about that, but yeah, as you can see by this title, this choice to get attack is probably one of the hardest choices I've ever had, and I really don't know, there's some other reasons why I don't want to get attack, and I'm not going to name them, because I don't want them to get leaked, because then I could really screw myself over, but it's nothing important, you don't need to worry about it, but if someone does work it out, it's kind of going to suck, but Overall, it's just something that I thought about that like, most people would not actually think about. Like, you think, what are the pros and cons of attack? Boom, you do it, and then stuff can happen, and you're like, oh, wow, okay, this kind of sucks. So, I'm being very careful, and I'm going to try to keep this one down, but I'm pretty sure people can work it out, preferably. And if, I know I've said this, and you're all listening to it, just don't bother trying to guess it. I mean, I will mention it eventually, and then you'll be like, oh, and you'll probably be like, that's pretty smart. And then, pretty much, I'm just thinking everything, because I'm a video maker now in-game, and there's just a lot of things. Like, I don't know, actually, just forget that. I mean, when I'm a video maker, it doesn't really matter what my stats are as long as I'm actually bringing out enjoyable videos. So, obviously, the 60 attack thing against the 80 attack. Just when I get 80 attack, there's so much more I could bring out. Like, um, I don't know. I just love to be able to train with Kadic weapons, kill Cyclopses with the Rapier, CVLS, and... No, CVLS, sorry. Um, Kadic Rapier... Kate of Longsword, sorry, um, Vesta's Longsword, all the stuff that I could use, it would be awesome, but eventually I will get the, to the point where I can no longer use a whip, which would suck, I'd really hate to bridge without a whip, so I'd have to go to Rapier Prodding, and I really don't want to PK with Kadex often, you may say, no point getting 80 attack and not using Kadex, reason that if you've been subscribed to me for a while, the reason I didn't get 80 attack earlier is because Rapier PKing is too easy, you may say, I don't know that you may say that it's not that easy, but I've PK'd an attack. The first time I ever went pretty with Chaotix on an account, which was 80-45, I made five people teleport in one trip, and I had, like, three food left over. It's so overpowered, and most of those, some of them had whips, some of them had defense. It was, I can't really remember, it was, like, over a year ago, but Ray Peer PK, it's not a challenge, and to be completely honest, the reason I wanted to train attack is because hybriding was dead, but overall, I much prefer making edge commentaries. They are, I can do them quicker, I can have more fun, I can not get left-click fights all the time. Now, that is a huge thing that I hate on this game, is me right-clicking brid fights. I right-click brid fights all the time. And it's a, it, you may say it's not that much, much more difficult, but you misclick a lot. 
we may misclick a lot, so you may miss not misclick at all, but I misclick a lot because I always have familiars in my way. And when I hybrided for about two years with left clicks before I actually started hybriding on RuneScape with right clicks, so I, it's, it's a huge, well, not really a huge step, but quite a large step, step, up, step up for me, which made it a lot difficult for me. So, yeah. Uh, as for the, uh, just going back to the main thing of training attack, it is a very difficult choice. I know it's kind of a pointless video to upload. I did want to keep this one short, but there's always something I've already asked you about that Slayer video. But also, you may ask why I'm training Slayer. I'm 14.3 almost Slayer experience. Slayer is probably my favorite skill in the game now that Dungeoneering lags to hell. If I ever Dungeoneer, I'm probably going to do it with friends in a non-laggy world and just do a couple of floors or something. But yeah, my Dungeoneering experience is almost 110 million, which is uh, kind of cool. But I don't know which XP I'm going to go for. Long term, 200 mil, but I just want to go for that XP now. Like the 133, 333, 337. Now, I say things too quick. I just moved off that onto a new sentence suddenly. But um... People do not like it when people are leech dungeoneering, and I always did admit to leech dungeoneering. I'm not, I'm not afraid to hide it. And if you didn't know that, you do now, and everyone knows it. So you can leave comments on that if you really want to. But I don't really mind. I did it for a reason. I'm not going to go into that because it's already been done. But I decided I'm going to like sue to that experience because that's like 30 mil XP legit. But if I sue it, it's technically 100 mil XP, so it's kind of the same. But I really just wanted to get the cape done with. But I still enjoy dungeoneering. People might say, "Why do I enjoy dungeoneering?" Yeah, I leeched it. I leeched it just to get it done quicker, and just to say the reasons it would take. 10 months for me to have got uh, 120 dunge legit and 2 months to leech it and then I can get more videos out so at the time it just seemed smart to do but it doesn't really matter I don't know why I brought that up but overall I don't mind bringing things that, about like that up because I don't I don't try to hide things from my subscribers as long as I am saying things like I leech dungeoneer and people know by it so I don't have in future videos like yo you leech your dungeoneer and shut up I'm just like yes I know I admit it every video but um Oh my god, uh, I don't know what to say. That's about it. I mean, I don't know why I actually recorded this video. It's probably going to be longer, but I uh, I don't really know. But yeah, please leave me a comment on that uh, Slayer series. Uh, it'd be pretty cool. But for people who are wondering how I'm going to make long vlogs, long vlogs are most likely going to be done on chin trips, barrage trips, getting defenders, or training Slayer. I highly doubt I'm going to train any other of my uh, skills. Maybe a bit of AFK ones. Like I might do a bit of... Um, Fletching, Fletching was one of my, it's like 50 mil XP or something, but obviously there is uh, money in this, I put all my money in PK in these days, I, I don't know, I have no buyables left except for 200 mil prior, which I'm probably never going to do, so that doesn't really matter much, but uh, I have 200 mil range bank, I do need to put like another bail onto magic, but I'm not in a rush for mage at the moment, because I don't think I want to get them, I need to find out, also, just before I finish this video, I'm going to talk for a bit longer after saying this, but does anyone actually know when the uh, evolution of combat comes out, because I heard it was delayed, I'm pretty sure it's in September, like, I'm pretty sure it was dated to release 6th of September, then it was moved to the end of September, and then apparently it's rumoured to have moved to December or January, so I'd love to actually find out if that's true, because then I could actually put time into getting my 200 mils, and I could bring out my kiln services again and all that, but there's a lot I can do in that time, so there's no rush, but also, I would like, I know, I know I'm throwing down a lot of uh, questions here for you to uh, say, but remember, I don't mind how many times you comment, I normally, when I see a video, I don't like commentating, commenting more than once, sorry, but... If I ask for multiple comments, I would much prefer you actually leave me multiple comments because I do ask a lot of things. But yeah, next thing I want to say is, I would, people have always saying, I, I really need a new, I want a new series to do. Something kind of time consuming, something that people would look forward to. Does anyone know a series I could do? Preferably not PK based. I don't like PK based series because whenever I want to PK for fun, I can't really. Because I'm trying to do a series at the same time, which uh, kind of sucks, so... That's just something small. I'm almost done with this task. It's really quick. Like, if I, sh I show my slay experience at the start, I don't know how much XP I've gained, but you can probably work out just from this video XP per hour or something. But it's probably nothing over like, it's probably about 60k maybe here. This is a quick task for me. But I'd love to do a new series, but I don't know what to do now. There's a load of series I'd love to do, but I really want an original one. Like, there's so many good series being done out there that I just, well, I'm just, I'm like, oh my god, why didn't I think of that? Because this is so good to do. One of them, if I just give a, a small shout out here, obviously unpaid, but Smokey's, um, Nails to Bill series, I would love to do a series where I make money on this game, legitly playing it like, I need some money, I start with nothing, I go and sell a couple of dunge floors, now everyone's going to leak, why would anyone buy a floors off someone who leaks, I could easily get someone to buy a couple of floors off me, they'd probably be under like 20 minutes anyway, which is, isn't so bad if I get like a decent, because I'm 120 dunge, I can get a good team pretty easily, so I can get carried obviously, and then take all the money as you know, but I don't really mind, but... I would love to be able to do a series like that where I actually make money legit. Like, I make my money on this game from Fight Caves, Fight Jads and all that stuff. I don't do any of them anymore, but it kind of is like earning money on legit. But, I mean, if I was actually playing a game where I had to woodcut magic trees for three hours to earn 200k to buy myself, like, a rune set, I think it would make the game really fun. I'd be playing it from a different angle, but obviously I'd be making videos out of it. But obviously I'd do it in my way and only do it. Like, my From Scratch series was... um kind of a short overall not really short but i did it fairly quickly 
I, the, the way I did it was the videos were short but got a lot covered overall. So how I get new tasks, a beautiful task, I can just go straight there, that's awesome. But um, uh, one tip for Slayer is you want to try and bank as fast as you possibly can. Like the faster you can get to tasks, the better. This was a lucky one, but normally I would have, um, like I don't have another ferocious ring on me to get to a new task now, so I have to go to the bank to do it, which kind of sucks. But yeah, if anyone knows any good series, that could do, preferably don't comment them, put those in my inbox so I can read them. I'll reply to them all, what I think about them, but I would love, if you can come up with a unique series that you think people would really look forward to watching, that's what I want. I want a series where people look forward to watching. Like I come in game, people used to say like, when is your next 10 million challenge or when is your next setting the bar when is your next marathon video and i want a series like that where everyone looks forward to it so when i actually produce it i know people are going to be waiting for this for a while so i can put a load of effort into it so people aren't disappointed that it'd be really fun to do but yeah that's about it for this video guys so because this is i'm going to render this 720p this video is probably going to be like actually it's only 15 minutes it's not 40 plus so it's all good but yeah uh, just to say about the title attack is what the hell i have the hot world what I doesn't really matter. I prefer to hop worlds when you get to Dagonus, but yeah, if you click the highest one, just go to the lowest pin. That's how I normally what I do. So, small tip for Slayer. More players in the world, possibly more people at the Slayer spots, but the faster respawns there are, so you get faster experience per hour, so that's just a small tip there. But yeah, preferably leave comments on what you want on here. It would be quite awesome, but don't leave any comments about attack. I know all the pros and cons to it, and I will... I may be getting attack in the future. I just don't know yet. Uh, it's a huge thing, but I will most likely be getting 80 tops, and then that's about it for me, but... Yeah, that's about it for me for attack. I don't know if I'll ever get 99. I will I will get 99 in the beta, just to say, because obviously I don't combat at all. And just to answer now, people have been asking me a lot, will I play the beta? The answer is yes. But will I play it PvP-based? Possibly, possibly not. We'll have to see. If I do get attack up, then I think I can get a Kerrick Maul. Well, I obviously can. And apparently that's like the most powerful weapon there. So I could do PvP-based, but I don't know if it's fun. So I think if I do play the beta, the majority of things I will be doing is my longer vlogs, because... From video making, I get comments all the time. I did say this in my other video, saying that being able to talk to myself for a long time and keep my viewers entertained is a talent. And I've picked that talent up from video making. You may call that lame. I don't I don't really care, to be honest, if you think that's lame. I, I think I consider this to see people leaving on my videos that I've got talent from doing this. That's cool. So I'm going to use that talent in the uh, beta to make longer videos because if people enjoy listening to them, just like this video, if you've enjoyed listening to this on some level, this is what I mean. These are the videos that probably be released in the beta. And then obviously I could be just be training Slayer. I don't know. I have no goals on this game at the moment except for some, I think, 20 mil Slayer XP and then 100 mil and those is what I'm kind of do for. But I'm trying to get the uh, Slayer experience first because obviously my Steel Titan Cannon is going to get me over 50 mil range XP. So I just chin the rest of it but yeah for this video i gained i don't know how much slayer experience but it doesn't really matter but thank you for watching the video guys uh preferably anyone who left with a comment is kind of cool also i believe someone's going to give me access to a completion escape account so you can expect some more mage bank videos just give me some time on that i have a couple of videos that i need to upload and that's about it from me also sorry for the three videos today if that's too many for you all but yeah thanks for watching also i was actually uploading the video at the same time which is done and it's um as you can see there, part one, that's out tomorrow. But yeah, I have a part two rendering. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will see you all soon.